One sunny day, Thomas the Tank Engine was waiting for Duck to arrive with his auto train. Why is that city engine? Just because I'm a guaranteed connection doesn't give him the right to be late. Then Thomas heard something loud and long in the distance. Duck soon pulled into the station, making an awful noise. His whistle chain was stuck on his cab. The passengers held their ears, and Thomas winced as Duck's whistle continued to blow. At last, the driver freed the whistle chain, and silence fell upon the station. What's wrong, Duck? Got another egg stuck in your whistle? <laughs> Duck rolled his eyes. He'd heard it all before. Honestly, your eggs, Percy's porridge? When will you lot learn engines don't need food? Not happy with cold and water, are we? Just then, Toby arrived with Henrietta. Oh, smart enough, Thomas, you wonder, Doc. Have you forgotten what happened on Edward's branch a a few years ago? Long ago, Thomas was delivering trucks to the docks for Ben and Ben when he heard a farmer's lorry and was covered in eggs. He did not like being reminded of the incident. Pa! huffed Thomas as he puffed away with his passenger train. Toby grinned at Duck as he and Henrietta set off. There are many farms on Thomas's branch on the supply food for the market. Toby delivers trucks of eggs, bacon and cheese from the farms, while Daisy collects the milk van at Farquhar. They enjoyed their work and have made great friends with the farmers along the line. The next morning, Toby had stopped at the station with his train. As Thomas pulled in with his passengers, he saw Toby's driver and fireman cooking bacon in his firebox for lunch. A steam tram cooking steamed hams? It's not proper! There's no harm in it? My groom need their cold and water too, after all. Thomas snorted indignantly. He thought the idea was silly, but his crew were most intrigued. Later that day, they arrived at the big station. As Thomas rested, his crew snuck off to the station cafeteria. They soon came back with bacon and buns. All right, give you a shovel a whip, Dune, and we'll give it a tree. Thomas was aghast. Don't you dare! You're not using me to cook your lunch! I'm a steam engine, not a stove! The driver and fireman just laughed and readied the bacon. When it was time to cook, they couldn't get Thomas's fire to burn properly, no matter what they did. Come on, Thomas! Thomas huffed, and the flames flickered fiercely. The fireman, caught unaware, couldn't react in time, and the bacon caught fire. The fireman jerked the shovel out of the firebox, but when he did, the bacon had disappeared. Where'd it go? Must have stood it out of the shovel. You get this bacon out of my firebox before... Before... Thomas trailed off, beginning to feel unwell. Suddenly, with a huff and a blow, he had a great sneeze. Bacon shot from his funnel like a rocket, landing on a smoke box. One strip landed right on his nose. Out! Get it off! Get it off! The driver and fireman ran to see if Thomas was alright, but they couldn't help but laugh when they saw the bacon clinging to his nose. I haven't had much luck with food, have you, Thomas? First eggs, now bacon? So we've got some butter toast for you? Thomas, red in the face, wished angrily. Stop laughing! It's not funny! Get this all before someone sees! But it was too late. Duck popped into the station and saw everything. Oh dear! Not content with coal and water, are we? Honestly, Thomas, when will you learn that engines don't need food? Thomas had no reply. He just looked at his buffers as Duck and the crews gave a hearty chuckle. <laughs>